Hi, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. Now, a previous video that I made, and I'll put a link in the description below to it, showed two studies that showed um, vitamin D sufficiency as an effective treatment against COVID-19. Now, a third study has surfaced, this time from the Boston University School of Medicine, that also shows vitamin D as an effective treatment for COVID-19. So without further ado, let's jump into this uh, video and have a look at this particular study. A study by the Boston University has shown that having sufficient levels of vitamin D can prevent the conditions of patients who have COVID-19 from deteriorating and have even less need for oxygen. The researchers at Boston University stated that only 9.7% of patients who were older than 40 and who were vitamin D sufficient succumbed to the infection, compared to 20% of people who had vitamin D insufficiency by having less than 30 nanograms per milliliter of 25 hydroxyvitamin D, the measurement of vitamin D in the body. CRP, or C-reactive protein, is commonly analyzed to check inflammation levels caused by an infection. The higher the inflammation, usually the greater the infection. A significant reduction in serum CRP, an inflammatory marker, suggests that vitamin D sufficiency may also help modulate the immune response, possibly by reducing the risk of a cytokine storm in response to this viral infection. Let's now talk about a study that took place in the Boston University School of Medicine. So during the study, the vitamin D levels of 235 hospitalized COVID-19 patients were measured. Author of the study, Michael F. Hollick, PhD, MD, Professor of Medicine, Physiology, Biophysics and Molecular Medicine at Boston University School of Medicine said, this study provides direct evidence that vitamin D sufficiency can reduce the complications, including the cytokine storm and ultimately death from COVID-19. A cytokine is a small protein important in the cell signaling process. A cytokine storm is where too many proteins are released into the blood too quickly. And this for humans can be deadly. Let's now talk about vitamin D and the immune response. Patients who were vitamin D sufficient had significantly lower blood levels of the inflammatory marker CRP and had a higher total blood lymphocyte count, and this suggests the vitamin D sufficiency had improved their immune function. The researchers concluded that the beneficial effect on the immune system may also reduce the risk of acquiring this potentially life-threatening viral infection in the first place. Only 32.8% of participants in the study had sufficient vitamin D levels. The severity of clinical outcomes from COVID-19 and mortality were reduced in patients who were vitamin D sufficient. Clinical features were also significantly different in patients who were vitamin D sufficient. They had a lower risk of becoming unconscious or becoming hypoxic. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, I'm now going to put up a screenshot from an article in the Times magazine where the CDC states the following information for the most at-risk groups and they talk about adults over 65, people with chronic lung and heart disease, people who are immune compromised such as those with HIV, people who are severely obese, so I think we're looking at BMIs of over 30, people with chronic kidney disease who are undergoing dialysis and people with liver disease. So if you think you're in one of these at-risk groups, then I strongly suggest visiting a medical practitioner, having a blood test, 
Uh, and if you are vitamin D insufficient, then perhaps look at more exposure to the sun or supplementing with vitamin D. Vitamin D supplements are fairly cheap, although if you are um, insufficient in vitamin D, you may even be able to get it on prescription. Uh, for those of you that are interested, this is currently what I am taking as part of my longevity stack. So this vitamin D from do not age .org is 5,000 international units of vitamin D a day and 120 micrograms of vitamin K. Now it's important you take vitamin K with vitamin D for the reasons that I highlight in my vitamin D video. And I'll put a link to that video at the end of this particular video. So that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting. I hope to see you in the next video. As always, please take care. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.